Now we all love set analysis and we know that set analysis can be used to restrict a measure to a set of dimensional values as you see here. I'm just going to add another one so you can see the update in the chart below looking at control pads and arcade sticks. But did you know you could also use measures? So let's look at the sum of sales where everything is greater than or equal to a thousand. How about 5,000? Let me show you how that's done. Now, traditional set analysis, if we look at this particular chart and go into the measure, you can see that we have our set modifier here and the dimension is model variation and it's equal in this case to a variable, in this case, arcade sticks or control pad. And you can see the value along the bottom here. To restrict or compare, set analysis with a measure inside the component. You perform the same set modifier, but you encapsulate your value with double quotes and an equal sign. And then you put in the aggregate expression for the value you want to compare for. In this case, we're looking at the sum of the sales measure greater than or equal to, in this case here, we're using the variable, but that's where you would put your numeric value, as you can see here, 5,000. And then by doing so, you can restrict or compare the particular measure you're interested in to a particular value displayed within your chart. Now this comes in real handy for this particular example here in my performance dashboard, where I'm actually looking at a scatter plot and controlling the number of values that are present. So in this case, I'm looking at sales that are greater than $91 and where sales or quantity of those items are uh, greater than three. I can change greater than seven and sales greater than $291. And we can see we have one order. order. If we reduce the number of items sold and you can see we can control the number of scattered points within the scatter plot. Okay, just another great way of utilizing set analysis.